All right, guys, so today we have something that I am actually very excited to see Tim change. It is also from Extreme Online Stores. When GM designed the C7 and offered the Z07 package with the exposed carbon fiber aero, they did, I don't want to say a poor job, but I just don't understand what they were thinking because your front splitter, look at that, exposed carbon fiber, side skirts, exposed carbon fiber. They're all right by each other. And the winglet on the side for the stage three arrow right here is carbon flash. So, <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Does that look good together? I don't think so. So today we are gonna correct that with Extreme Online Stores front splitter and the winglet on the side for the stage three arrow. These two pieces of carbon fiber will match. It's gonna look fantastic. And then we won't have this little color change right here. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what kind of condition these look. Look at that. Man, look how good. You guys know I've had a lot of carbon fiber on my car from uh, EOS. And man, let me tell you, they're knocking it out of the park. That looks so good. It actually matches the GM very well. It is very, very close. Look at the weave. Very, very close on that. But also, that I wanted to show you guys, heavy. this is how well everything is packaged. We didn't want to open both of them because we wanted to see it along with the hardware. But look at this thing, man. This is going to look absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait. Again, man, I really want to get the before. Woo. It's going to look so much better. And check out the front splitter and the winglet. But check it out. These are the new race ramps. I call them race ramp minis because they are shorter and lower. But check it out. This gives us a nice amount of room to be able to work under the front of the car. You know, I could be able to change oil or anything like that. But Tim also has these race ramps, which, uh, you know, me and Steve have done some videos with the race ramps over at his house. So while I got them over there doing some work, I was going to show you guys. Check it out. Brand new front seat driver, a Yeti type cup. Let me tell you, I drink a lot more water finally. I've had a lot of trouble drinking water. I drink way too much coffee. I feel the same with water. I drink all the time. Let's go, like, go check on them, see how they're doing. Okay. All right, so first thing we got to do is we've got to get the first four screws out underneath here. If you have a Z07 package car, you're going to have this under tray. So you're going to have to get these out. If it's a non-Z07 car, I believe those all come without this under tray, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you have a non-Z07 car like Jason and like I used to have, everybody wants the winglets. Yes, they do. They look so aggressive. So we need that so we can get in behind here because there is actually a couple of nuts in here right where these screws are. Okay. So we're going to need a T30 for each of these. And you're going to need 10 millimeters. So on this one, you can reach it with a wrench. So you can use 10 millimeter wrench on the back side. On this one, you're going to have to slip a long 10 millimeter back behind to reach it on there. All right, guys, we had to go ahead and back it off of the race ramp minis because we realized it's been a while since I've done this. There are three T15 Torx head screws that we have to remove on the inside. And the only way to access this is to turn the wheel inside. All right, so we have it removed. Those three T15 screws are gone. And we are going to start installing the new winglet. You know, That's the best place you can see the difference. Look at the yeah. thickness difference. Oh, yeah. Definitely a high quality product, no question. That EOS stamped right there. Love it. Very nice. All right, let's get these puppies on. And it's so thin. Look at how like warped and stuff. Yeah, it is. look at that. It actually is. Can you guys see that? And one thing I've also noticed always with these two is they kind of bow in. Yes. And there's that not much nice curve to that either. Yeah. yeah, it just looks so much better. All right, guys, that's going to do it. So the new winglets are on. The exposed carbon fiber, so much better 
than the carbon flash. Now, one thing I will mention, you might want to consider if you don't like the slight color difference between the EOS and the General Motors brand, you might want to go ahead and swap out that front splitter too. I know Tim has decided he may or may not. He hasn't made up his mind, but he's definitely considering that. And uh, so anyway, here's the other side. But I think it looks absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Tim? Two thumbs up. Two I thumbs. love it. Absolutely. I just think now having it all in carbon fiber, and to be honest with you, you don't really, I don't notice it that much. You have to really kind of be looking to see this, the uh, just the color difference, but it is visible. It, it is there. But anyway, a million times better. I think it looks fantastic. So we are going to wrap up and uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go home. I have a long drive, good hour. So I love it though. I love it. Good. Oh, one thing we need to mention though. Yes. You might think about, you may need to change your bolts out. Yes, we did change out the bolts. The bolts that come with them are too short yeah. to fit through the GM carbon fiber splitter. Yeah, underneath here, thick. underneath there. So we did have to go get some longer bolts and we didn't want to reuse the GM bolts because they're so long, it makes it really difficult to get yeah. a socket on it inside. So we did go get some stainless steel bolts yep and uh nobody is the wiser can't tell because <laughs> it's on the underneath side but it looks perfect all right that's gonna do it everybody have a great week